Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Guess what? We are getting ready to make my meaty spaghetti. We're going to use some beef Eckert sausage, the skinless, because if you use the casing, then you're chewing gum. I don't want to chew gum. I want to chew spaghetti. We're going to use a pound of hamburger meat. And then I'm going to only use half a pound of this Italian sausage. I'm going to use the other half of pizza. I'm going to put some garlic in there. I'm using these cans of tomato sauce because these are the only ones that I could find when the pandemic first hit. You got to get rid of it because I don't normally use it. But since I got it, I'm going to use it. Garlic salt, Laurie's, Mrs. Dash, and some basil. So, I'm going to get this meat in the skillet, my Dutch oven, and then we're going to get started cooking. You guys ready? You got your ingredients? Are you ready? Let's get started. I'll be back. All right. So we're back. We're making meaty spaghetti. As you can see, I've got the hamburger meat in there. And remember, I told you I was going to take part of that Italian sausage. I didn't take very much of it, and that was a pound. I'm going to brown that up, and I'm going to make some pizza with that. I am. My son would love that. So, I'm going to go ahead and start browning this up. And we're not going to put the sausage, the Eckert sausage, in there just yet. But we are going to add a few ingredients. We're going to cook this over medium heat. And, of course, you know she loves her garlic. So, I'm using my big spoon. So, that's all I'm going to put in there. Okay? I'm going to put in some garlic salt. Be careful about how much you season this. Remember what I've told you before. You can always add more, but you cannot take it out once it's in there. Because that sausage has got its share of salt, okay? So we're going to put a little bit of Laurie's in here. And remember, like I said, we can always go back later and season some more if we want. Okay? Alright, and here is our Mrs. Dash. Alright? And then we're going to put in here some basil. And then all we're going to do at this point is we're going to break this meat up and let it brown, okay? I'm going to let it brown up before I put that sausage in. I'm going to let it brown up at least halfway so that I can get this meat broken into the consistency that I want it in. Because otherwise, if I put the sausage in now, I'll be breaking my sausage up into pieces and I don't want that, okay? You could, if that's what you want to do, that's quite all right, okay? But I'm not going to do that with mine. So I'm just going to break this meat on up. Start letting it fry up, and then at the end, before you start, or you know, adding your your tomato sauce or your spaghetti sauce or whichever you have, um, if you got an excessive amount of oil in the bottom of this, I would strongly suggest that you drain that because we don't want to eat that. Okay, so I'll brown mine up, and I'll let you see if I need to drain. So we're just gonna. Start browning this all up, all nice and beautifully. As we say before, let the flavors marry, okay? So, we're going to get this all browned up, and I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. And as I'm browning mine, I kind of break it up like this, because I like smaller chunks. And my spaghetti, I don't like those big old, big old chunks. You may, and if you do, that's fine. It's quite all right. Fix it how you and yours are going to eat it. Me and mine, I kind of like mine in the consistency of taco meat. Okay? Alright, so I'm just going to brown this up, break this up, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like once it's browned up. Okay? Alright. I'll be back! Guess what? We're back. Okay. I wanted you to look in here and see. I had to drain some of that fat, grease, whatever you want to call it, out of the pan. See, you don't want any of that in there. See, there's absolutely none in there at all. You don't want that. You want to add your own flavors. Okay, so I've got the sausage, the Italian sausage I've browned, the ground beef. So I did about half a pound of the Italian sausage, which is what gave me all the grease. And then I did a whole pound of the ground beef. And then this is a whole package of the Eckert sausage. You saw that. Now I'm going to start building this so that it can simmer, all right? Now, one of the things that I didn't tell you 
that we were going to add, well, two things. We're going to add in some mushrooms. Uh-oh, we're wibbly wobbling. Let's set her down. I get these cans at, I, I can't remember if it was Costco's or Sam's, but you get a whole bunch of these little cans for a few dollars. I don't remember how much it was. So we're going to put in this whole little small can. It's a small little can. We're going to put in that small little can of mushrooms. Come on out. Join the party. And then, again, like I told you, I was getting rid of the things that I've already bought pre-pandemic. Now I can buy the brands that I prefer. But this is fine. It doesn't matter. But this is diced tomatoes with green chilies, which is off-brand for Rotel. We're going to put that whole can in there. Juices and all. Okay? So those are the two items that I failed to tell you about. And my apologies, of course. So... I'm going to go ahead, and if your family does not like the mushrooms, don't put them in. And as far as the Rotel, it doesn't give it a heat to the point where you can't stomach it or anything like that. It's just pretty much adding flavor. It's not giving you the heat factor because it's going to be in such a big pot. So you're not getting the heat factor. We're just getting the flavor factor, okay? So, now in goes with the two cans. Okay, that's can one, can two. I really prefer Prego, but sometimes you got to get what you can get, right? So I'm also going to put a little bit of water in each one of these cans and get that side and add water to that. Not much, just a little bit. So about a third of a cup of water from that can. And then we're going to do it again with this other can. All right. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let this simmer. That's all it's got to do now is it just needs to simmer. We're going to let this simmer. I'm going to let it simmer. You don't have to let it simmer a long time if your family's ready to eat. But I prefer to let mine simmer on medium low for a good 20 minutes, at least 20 minutes. Now, if your family's ready to eat, it's fine. 10 minutes, you're good. But if you can let it simmer for 30 minutes, let it simmer for 30 minutes. But as you can see, doesn't that meaty spaghetti look meaty and delicioso? Okay, so I'm gonna let mine simmer. I'm gonna come back, show you what it looks like plated up. I'll be back. This is the finished product. Look how good that is. We let it marinate. I went on and let it marinate it for 30 minutes on a medium low. And then this is it plated up. Look at that. I put it on a bed of spaghetti noodles. You've got hamburger meat. You've got Italian sausage. You have egg rich beef sausage. We put a can of Rotel. You might as well say Rotel. It was just off brand. Rotel. Two cans of the spaghetti sauce. A can of mushrooms. Small can. And then this is what we got. Delicioso. Yum yum. Make you some. All right. Thanks for watching. Everybody be safe. Be blessed. See you next time. Bye-bye.